Welcome to the world of extraterrestrial humor and heartwarming tales to place where the iconic 1978 TV series took flight, captivating audiences with its unique blend of comedy and genuine emotion. Remember the days when Mork, the quirky alien from the planet Orc, made his debut on Earth in the lively city of Boulder, Colorado? Perhaps you have a cherished memory associated with the adventures of Mork and Mindy, a show that etched its place in the collective memory of television enthusiasts. What is it about Mork and Mindy that makes it an everlasting symbol of the industry? Is it the timeless humor that transcends generations, or the endearing characters that left an indelible mark on viewers' hearts? As we delve into the random facts about the show, let's explore the enduring qualities that have made Mork and Mindy a classic. Did you know that the series served as a breakout platform for the incomparable Robin Williams, whose comedic brilliance shone through in every episode? The chemistry between Williams and Pam Dauber, who portrayed Mindy, added a genuine warmth that resonated with audiences far and wide. Now, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Mork and Mindy in the comments below. What is it about this timeless series that still lingers in your thoughts? Your stories and memories are a testament to the lasting impact of this iconic show. So, let's embark on a nostalgic journey to share your tales, laughter, and reflections. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. And now, without further ado, let's unravel the fascinating world of Mork and Mindy own anecdote at a time. Stay tuned for more captivating insights into the show that captured our hearts. In the late 1970s, the sitcom landscape found an extraterrestrial twist with Mork and Mindy. A spin-off from the popular show Happy Days, the series introduced viewers to the quirky alien Mork from the planet Orc, portrayed by the comedic genius Robin Williams. Set in Boulder, Colorado, Mork's fish out of water experiences were navigated with the help of his human roommate Mindy, played by Pam Dauber. The show's premise was simple yet innovative of Mork's observations about Earth's customs and his childlike innocence juxtaposed against Mindy's grounded and caring nature. Williams' unparalleled improvisational skills and unique comedic energy brought Mork to life in a way that left an indelible mark on television. The character's catchphrase, Nanu Nanu, became a cultural phenomenon, reflecting the show's impact. Mork's colorful outfits and rainbow suspenders also became iconic symbols of the series. Mork and Mindy broke conventional sitcom molds, embracing a whimsical and sometimes surreal narrative style. The show's success was propelled by the undeniable chemistry between Williams and Dauber, their on-screen dynamic forming the heart of the series. Despite its light-hearted tone, Mork and Mindy subtly address social issues, making it both entertaining and thought-provoking. The series concluded in 1982, but its influence persisted, solidifying Robin Williams as a comedic legend and paving the way for unconventional sitcoms in the years to come. Mork and Mindy remains a nostalgic gem, a testament to the timeless appeal of its humor and the enduring legacy of its beloved characters etched into the annals of television history. In a pivotal phone call with an ABC executive, producer Gary Marshall birthed the idea for a groundbreaking sitcom set in Boulder, Colorado. Marshall's choice of location was influenced by a personal connection a friend with a child attending Colorado University. This call laid the foundation for the 1978 TV series, propelling it beyond conventional sitcom boundaries. The show's uniqueness extended to casting choices. Jay Leno, auditioning for the role of Remo de Vinci, encountered an unexpected rejection. An ABC executive candidly informed Leno that his face might frighten little children. This casting anecdote underscores the challenges and idiosyncrasies involved in assembling the ensemble for a series that would soon become iconic. Delving deeper into the show's lore, the name of Mork's Orkin superior, Orson, carries a fascinating homage. A nod to Orson Welles, the renowned figure behind the historic 1938 CBS radio broadcast of H.G., Wells' War of the Worlds. Wells' adaptation with Martians landing in New Jersey inspired the choice of Orsona's subtle connection that adds layers to the show's creative tapestry. These behind-the-scenes insights reveal the intricate threads woven into the fabric of the 1978 TV series. From the conceptual birth in a phone conversation to the unconventional casting decisions, Mork and Mindy emerged as a product of unique inspirations and audacious choices, setting the stage for its eventual impact on television history. In crafting the unconventional sitcom Mork and Mindy, producer Gary Marshall drew inspiration from a pivotal phone call, laying the groundwork for a series that defied traditional sitcom norms. 
Beyond the script, casting decisions added a layer of uniqueness. Notably, Jay Leno's audition for Remote Da Vinci took an unexpected turn, with an ABC executive expressing concerns about his potentially frightening appearance to children. Delving into the show's lore reveals intriguing connections. Mork's Orkin superior, Orson, pays homage to Orson Welles, known for the historic 1938 CBS radio broadcast of H.G. Wells' War of the Worlds. The parallels enrich the creative tapestry of the series. Amid the production, interesting personal touches found their way into the set design. Hanging by the front door of Mork and Mindy's apartment are framed album covers Jackson Brown's Running on Empty and LTDS Togetherness. These subtle details, sourced from the world of music, contribute to the show's unique atmosphere. As the series unfolded, off-screen relationships played a role. Notably, Robin Williams, the comedic genius behind Mork, was romantically involved with comedian Elaine Boosler during the show's production. In retrospect, Mork and Mindy emerges as a product of audacious choices, from casting to set design, setting the stage for its lasting impact on television history. Pam Dauber's journey into the role of Mindy holds a surprising twist. Unlike traditional auditions, she didn't personally audition for the part. To pitch the show to ABC, producer Gary Marshall ingeniously edited clips from Dauber's performance in the failed series Sister Terry and combined them with footage of Robin Williams' earlier appearance as Mork on Happy Days, My Favorite Orkin. The network bought into this unconventional approach, and the show got the green light. Interestingly, Dauber discovered her casting through the industry trade paper Variety, making her entry into Mork and Mindy an unexpected surprise. This atypical casting method set the stage for a series marked by audacious choices. Notably, the final episode took an adventurous turn in an attempt to boost ratings. The last half was shot in 3D, an unusual move to captivate the audience. However, facing cancellation, ABC aired it in 2D, opting for a different episode as the series finale. This bold decision reflected the network strategy and the dynamic landscape of television programming. These behind-the-scenes insights illuminate the unconventional nature of Mork and Mindy, where creative decisions, from casting to experimental episode formats, played a crucial role. The series, born out of unique inspirations and unconventional choices, solidified its place in television history, leaving an indelible mark on the industry. As the cosmic adventures of a quirky extraterrestrial and his human companion fade into the recesses of memory, it's the intangible connections that endure. Mork and Mindy, a delightful beacon of laughter and oddball charm, etches itself into the fabric of our nostalgia, a timeless tale that transcends eras. Have you ever found solace in the zany escapades of Mork and his endearing interactions with the world? Maybe it was the unbridled innocence or the wacky antics that resonated drawing you into a universe where eccentricity was embraced. Take a moment to stroll down memory lane and unravel the layers of your own unique connection to this classic series. Perhaps it's a snippet of a heartfelt conversation between Mork and Mindy or the contagious joy that Mork's childlike curiosity brought to your own life. Your memories, musings, and reflections breathe life into the legacy of this show. Share your thoughts, your anecdotes, and the pieces of this interstellar journey that have nestled into your heart. Thank you for taking the time to delve into the cosmic wonders of Mork and Mindy and for sharing your cherished moments. Your participation adds depth to the constellation of memories surrounding this beloved series.